You know, a lot of you would probably watch this channel and think that tech is my main thing, and it is absolutely not. Game's probably my favorite thing, but audio is my main thing. And so I have two sets of premium headphones here. These things feel in your hands. They feel super premium. These are Civica headphones, and I have two different models. One is open back, and the other is closed back. I'm going to talk about both of these. You're going to get a little bit of a review on both of these, and then I'll talk about some of the differences between open back and closed back. So if you're confused as to what the difference is, well, Stay tuned right after the messages. Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home, Windows 11, you can buy it directly, Windows 11 Home, and we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on My Purchase Orders, just View, Keys and Codes, then you can just copy and paste your key, hit Start, type Activate, click on Activation Settings, Paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is cover the specs of each one, and then I'll talk about how they sound, and then we'll talk about them together at the end, talk about the differences between open and closed and the different, you know, build materials and everything. But mostly, I just want to give you an introduction to Sivka. They haven't paid anything for this video. In fact, when I talked to them, I asked for uh, some of their planar magnetic headphones because I'm really curious about those, but they don't really have much stock. So I said, Sure. Let's take a look at what you've got because I love a good pair of headphones. Now, before we get into this, I'll give you a little bit of my background. Um, I generally use headphones for mixing my music, and I also, um, I guess, I use it for a lot of music listening, but I like a very flat frequency response curve personally, which is not something that's soothing to listen to for most people. It's almost too analytical or too, uh, I don't know, weird. Some people like either a smoother, smoother bass. Uh, more elastic bass, all these different words that people use for things, uh, softer treble, uh, better mids. They like different things. They like a, a hi-fi sound, which is, you know, a little down on the mids and a little sparkle on top and a little extra bass. So there's all sorts of different profiles. What people generally don't like are things that sound like mud, and that's most gaming headsets because I don't know why. <laughs> They're made out of mud. I, I don't know, so they sound like mud. Anyway, these sound amazing. Like, they sound ridiculously amazing. In fact, I've been using these side by side with, with my Biodynamic GT880s, and um, I've been using these about 90% of the time this week because they sound so good. I don't know if I'd use them to make music or not. I guess it's less analytical for sure, but they do have a little extra mids and a little extra bass. But my God, they sound so good. Look at the case you get with these. Uh, it's got the, got that in there so we don't get any moisture. We don't want any moisture on that leather and, and on that wood and everything. These cases, yes, mm-hmm, yeah. Premium leather all the way around. Hard shell case, so it, it, this is nice and firm, so you're not gonna, you know, get anything damaged. You can put stack stuff up on it. The zipper, everything on this feels extremely premium. I mean, this feels like a super expensive piece of luggage right here, just the case by itself. So premium all the way around. So anyway, we'll get into the specs real quick. So the impedance on these is 30 ohms. The cable length is 1.6 meters and it is removable. You have a left and right channel right here. And this is a uh, 3.5 millimeter right there, eighth inch, whatever. It does come with a quarter inch adapter in the box. And both of them come with that right there. We'll get to the specs on the other one in just a second. So we got 50 millimeter drivers right here. Frequency response is 20,000 hertz to 40,000 kilohertz, but we can't hear that high, so cool. Weight without the cable is 354 grams, and the sensitivity is 100 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels. Now let's talk about the build quality on these because we have real wood out here. It's CNC'd. These are open back, meaning that the sound comes out, but there's a benefit for that. You can hear people in the room if they're talking to you. So if you're using this in a noisy place like an airport or a, a coffee shop or whatever, they're going to hear a little bit of your music and you're going to hear what they're saying. It's not isolated. It's not noise canceling. See on the inside? That's velvet. So they have the memory foam feels really good and velvet and the, the cans here, ovular. They've got the R and the L right inside there. But we do have a little bit of swivel here. This is metal and it feels good. No rough edges at all. The machining is great. 
um, and here because we have this floating headband here that kind of fits over your head and then metal support all the way across the top now there's no cable going across the top and that's why you have to plug in both sides i thought i was going to be annoyed by that but i'm not i plugged it in and five minutes later i totally forgotten that there was a cord on each side of my body so yeah now the fit on these is completely premium i would put it up against just about any set of headphones on the market at any price range and it's going to feel nice and premium as far as the clamping factor you can feel it but i've been wearing this for literally eight hours some days and no big deal no headaches no squeezing and i think a lot of that is because we do have the memory foam right here and the other thing that's cool is it doesn't get that that warm don't know why just doesn't get that warm maybe it's because it's open back all right let's talk about the sound on this um, and I like to listen to these before I look at any frequency response you know, charts or anything like that. I don't have the equipment to do my own frequency response charts, but I just like to listen to them. And immediately I noticed that the, the vocals, especially for men, were a little bit forward. But everything else sounds really good. And then the bass is, I want to say roomy. It's, it's very difficult because there's no specs that can convey certain things it's not all i mean this that's why there's so much nonsense in the audio world because we go beyond the realms of science into the realms of feels warm feels cool feels airy so you've got all these weird adjectives and i'm going to do my best we're almost like wine tasting right here everybody but you know hopefully some of the things that i'm saying will convey how this sounds now on the top you do have a little bit of sparkle but not too much. It's pretty flat when it comes to the top ranges. So treble is is there, it's clear, and it feel, it, when I put it, put it on, it felt pretty flat all the way across. And the bass is there. The bottom of the end of the bass is rounded out so you don't get too much just low rumble, but the kick drums, trombones, and lower instruments like bass guitars, and even low notes on the guitar, they have a nice punch they're not echoey they're not super boomy but there's a lot more bass than compared to like my dt880s that i use so it does have more bass than than like a set of studio headphones and the bass sounds really good now the only thing is right in the middle the mids are up a tiny bit i noticed immediately because i listened to a lot of heavy metal the guitars are forward they're crunchy and then the male vocals especially or low alto female vocals are forward they're there and it started to get fatiguing when i was listening to some of the music because the male vocals are so like in your face that it's like oh okay okay i get it i get it so i ended up going in and, and tweaking the eq just a tiny bit but this was like after a while of listening i was like okay the mids are maybe a tiny bit too much for me so I tweaked the, the EQ and brought it down just a little bit. And this is about when I came over and started looking at the frequency response graph that I found online. There's some other reviews and whatnot. And check out this. This is just from a review on HeadFi. And people are arguing about their favorite flavors of snake oil while there's a few scientists on there showing them up with charts and graphs. And look at that. It's almost just like I said right there. Yep, there's your male vocals. Just giving you a little bit of a boost. Not much. These are very, very flat uh, headphones. The, the bass is weird I, I thought it would be a little higher than this because they it has such good you know tight nice bass but right there you do have a little bit in the mids so with a lot of the music i thought after a tiny bit of equalization it sounded amazing but without that tiny bit of equalization when watching movies tv shows or whatever the voices were really clear if you're playing video games footsteps are really 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 clear so stuff in that mid-range right there some people might like that because you can hear things coming around the corner before you would maybe hear them before because the the footsteps and voices and stuff are slightly up so there's that now let's talk about open back well open back headphones generally have much bigger sound stages now what does that mean if you're someone who's here like i said from the tech world and you're like just learning about headphones sound stage is the perceived size of the room that you're in while you're wearing your headphones and um you know my like i'm gonna keep referencing my biodynamics my dt880s those are semi-open and when i put these on i kept suddenly being like i had them on and i'd start playing something or a, a video on youtube would start playing and i'd be like ah i'd take them off thinking that my speakers were on in the room 
because it sounded like it was like so much bigger than just the headphones. It sounded like it was coming from somewhere outside of the headphones. So you get that kind of spatial awareness with a good set of open back headphones. And I will take a set of open back headphones over a set of surround sound headphones a thousand days out of a thousand days. They sound so much better and you're going to be able to tell where stuff is coming from much better you got two ears you got two speakers you don't need 19 speakers in your headphone pointed in all different directions to give you good spatial audio you just need good spatial audio to start with a game that supports headphones and a game that has good spatial awareness and then you put these on and it's going to sound like stuff is coming from the left or the right or the front or the back it's going to sound correct these are very good for spatial awareness. Having said all that, let's hop over and talk about the other Civica headphones here. And these have a beautiful finish. You can get them in a couple different colors. You can get both of these in a couple different colors, but these are like the tan color right here. These are the Civica Robin. And they also feature the ovular sized, you know, the ovular sized. What's, what size is it, ovular? The ovular shaped cans right here. I'll go ahead and put them on so you can see. Over top of my hair don't. For God's sake, stop messing with your hair, whatever. I'm not, they're not on right now, so it doesn't matter if it's over my hair or not. And already it's brought the room closer. It's sealed things off a little bit. So I'll talk about the how they sound in just a minute. First off, let's go through the specifications on this unit. We'll start with the fit and the feel. Now, these are also super high end. They're not as expensive, but the, the build quality is, is the same. One thing that is different, this is not full size right here. This is like the smaller size. I forget what this is called, but this is not a full size three and a half inch or three and a half inch, <laughs> 3.5 millimeter plug. So just note that this does have a nice braided cable though. So that fit and feel on that. We'll get to the size of that in just a second. We have again, the CNC machined wood with a nice polish and it's everything's very smooth to the touch and yeah, memory foam all the way around memory foam on the top. These again are extremely comfortable with a slight uh, slightly a bit more clamping factor. Not much, just a little bit more when it comes to the clamping factor, but I think you'll be able to wear these pretty much all day and, and never notice that they're on your head unless you are got a huge head and you're very sensitive, but you know, they're extremely comfortable. Now these adjustments are more standard. You know, you just adjust right there, click down. That's as big as it gets. That's as small as it gets. One thing to note is these don't swivel this way. They only, I guess this is a tilt. This is a swivel, I don't know. So they tilt, but they don't swivel. This is tripod nomenclature, but whatever. You get the idea. So it would be cool maybe if they turned a little this way, but it's not that big of a deal. So the ear pads, they are actually leather. Having leather here, I will note that, you know, if after like a year or whatever, um, you may not, you know, your oils from your head might be keeping it safe, but if it starts to look a little dry, you might want to oil the leather, just so you know, after you have them for a year or so. But yeah, the impedance on these is only 32 ohms, so they're a little bit easier to drive than the 38 ohms on the other one. But you can drive these with, you know, plug them straight into your phone. You're not going to need an amplifier for either one of these. The driver on this is also 50 millimeters, and it's a, all this is in-house custom stuff, as they say on their website. To double check that, because whenever someone says that everything's in-house, I went on Alibaba and I scoured around and I could not find these. So either they're making them themselves and they're telling the truth, or I don't know, something else is going on, but I think they're making them themselves like they say. The cable length is 1.6 meters. The sensitivity is 105 decibels, plus or minus three. Frequency response is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. The weight is 275 grams, so a little bit lighter than the other ones. Now I put these on, um, and I should not have put these on after putting the other ones on because these are not exactly the same sound profile. They're normally the, I mean, these are normally the kind of sound profile that I go for. Huge sound stage with uh, not much going on when it comes to the frequency response, just very flat, but they have a little bit of extra mids. Now these, I put them on and I could instantly tell that the frequency response was kind of um, uh, just doing all kinds of stuff. Now, first off, the bass on these, huge, much, much uh, louder when it comes to the bass. Not in a bad way. You know, we're not like, it doesn't sound floppy or anything like that. It's there. It is boomy and I want to say voluminous. <laughs> Let me use all the big words. It's, there's a lot of bass, okay? If you're watching like a horror movie and it's like a low note, it's going to rattle your head because it's like... It's, it's there. And it also, it's it's inside these closed back headphones. 
If someone is in the room talking to you and you're listening to something with a lot of bass, you're not going to hear them. They're going to have to come over and smack you in the back of the head. So it does isolate really well. That's that's something. But, you know, the soundstage is closer. Everything feels a little bit closer. The interesting thing is, is I thought that since, you know, the bass was really loud on these, I thought the other stuff was going to sound muddy. But no, I can actually hear pretty much all the other instruments. And I tried this out with some acoustic stuff as well. And you can hear the guitars very well, but I noticed something. There's a little bit of a dip toward the middle of the frequencies. You can hear some, a lot of the sparkle and stuff's going on there, but there's kind of there's some dips, you know, here and there, where like the mids don't quite get as loud as I would like. Uh, so I was like, all right, let's go ahead and look up the frequency response and just see what we get with these. And of course, I went and found another review because I don't have this equipment, but let's just take a look and see what they got here for these. And yeah, it's kind of as expected. Lots of bass, lots of bass going on here. And whoop, there we go, sure. Let's just, let's in big in this, shall we? All right, so we got lots of bass going on over here. Uh, we got a little dip right here. It's just up and down, the, the 1K is up. Then normally for the hi-fi set of headphones, 1K is gonna be down. So these are, they these do sound louder. A lot of it could be because of this as well. Then we have a dip right here. Whereas on the other ones, we had a boost right there. This is right where you're gonna, have like your crunchy guitars and your male vocals or your acoustic uh, guitars. Mandolins maybe right over in here. Some of it's going to bleed in with the low notes and everything. So there's a strange dip right here. And if you're listening to music that has a lot of information right here, it may sound a little muffled in this area. Especially if you're listening to something that has a lot of bass. Maybe you're, let's, let's, let's put together a scenario. You're listening to something that's got like a djembe. There's someone banging on a djembe. You can smell the reefer already, can you not? And then there's someone else playing an acoustic guitar or a ukulele. Well, the djembe is probably going to overpower it. It's going to be more bass, more boom, and less of the mids, the, the crunch, or just the, the, the acoustic instruments or whatever. going to be a little bit lower. Didn't sound bad for classical music, but, you know, putting it side by side with these, it's kind of night and day. Or just the the, the acoustic instruments or whatever, going to be a little bit lower. Didn't sound bad for classical music, but, you know, putting it side by side with these, it's kind of night and day. These sound so clean, whereas these sound very good for certain types of music. So what types of music do these sound good for? Well, they sound good for stuff that needs a lot of bass, like house and techno. Stuff that I don't really listen to that much. They did sound good for a lot of different types of acoustic. Um, and I tried both of these with the uh, Queen's Right song. I forget which one for sibilance. I'll put it on the screen, I guess. And neither one of them are sibilant. Even though the you know these have like stuff going on over here, you might think, okay, there's going to be some resonance or there's going to be some sibilance or something when it comes to like the the higher pitches and the, s, the S's. Well, no, there's not. So what's sibilance? Again, I'm just saying these things as if everyone knows what I'm talking about. Sibilance is when you get that just over the top S sound, like if you're watching Garrison Keillor uh, back in the old NPR days or when he wrote, wrote his books, like that super high pitch whistle sound, like when people are singing and they almost have a little whistle or whatever. Whenever you have that and it's like suddenly pierces your ears, that's sibilance. And these don't do that. You can clearly hear when people are singing and it, you can hear the like the whistly tone, like when they're talking and you hit those, those very powerful S sounds, you can hear them clearly and it doesn't kill your ears. So they did a very good job when it comes to sibilance, even though this, this is wild. So I, I do like these, but I think I've heard um, better headphones in this price range, but it all depends on what you want. If you want something boomy, um, you know, I feel like these have a more like have a vibe or a sound that you would get in I don't know like popular headphones like that you get off the off the off the shelf like the expensive ones like I don't know like I haven't tried too many of them in a long time but they remind me of like kind of the sound you get out of a, a Beats or whatever um, but th they are cleaner they do have a cleaner sound than that so I don't want you to think that they're uh, they have a low end sound because they don't they have a nice high end sound. It's very boomy um, and just, I don't know, I think the mids could be better. But that's just my take because I listen to a lot of rock and a lot of classical and a lot of acoustic stuff and also a lot of video game stuff, which ended up being a lot of bass, especially when it comes to the FM synthesizers like Sega. The bass was like, don't, 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 just going crazy. And then some of the mids were a little bit too subdued. Um, now let's talk about what the difference is when it comes to closed back. Well, closed back 
um, they have a lot of things they have to think about when they're making closed back because the sound is not escaping. It's inside there. So there's going to be places where it echoes. And you can change the characteristics of a set of closed back headphones by taking them apart and putting foam in different places. And um, in fact, a lot of people do that. And I, you know, if I mess around with these, I might want to take them apart and put some foam in different places and just see how it sounds. It's like, it's like you look around and you have to figure out, it's not too scientific, figure out where uh, the reverberations are going to be coming from, if there's going to be any echo or anything like that, put some foam in there. So you can change the sound because it is inside here. Now they've, uh, of course, engineered these to sound a certain way. And uh, closed back, it does bring down the sound stage a little bit and make everything feel a little bit closer. So you don't quite get the same sense of place, as it were, or the same uh, sense of, I guess, vastness that you would get when it comes to open back. But you use these in rooms that are noisier or on. You can use them on a plane just fine, watching movies on a train, taking them with you when you're go jo going jogging and you don't want to hear the outside world. They will much, they will do a much better job of isolating um, all the different audio that's out there and all the different sounds that are attacking your ears. So uh, even without being, you know, noise canceling, they are going to keep away a lot of the noise just by the nature of how, you know, how well they seal around your ears. And also just, you know, you're going to be... F See, already right now, I'm like, I can't hear anything that well outside of this. My voice sounds stupid now. I mean, you can still hear where stuff's coming from, but it doesn't, I guess, feel as spatially accurate. Whereas with like this one, um, I put on some bluegrass that was recorded um, and they had everything mapped very well, like different channels. You could hear almost where the different instruments were placed in the room. It's ridiculous and like, you can be like, oh, I can tell the banjo is like five feet in that direction over there. And the guitar is like way over on the right. And the upright bass is like right behind me. It was like, it's kind of wild. And there's some people who do record that way with like a single omni microphone in a room. You can find recordings like this. I think Chris Thiele does some stuff like that. And it sounds really cool on a good set of headphones like this. You can get the entire spatial like layout in your brain while you're listening to it. It's wild. So you can do that with these. You can smell smoke. I'll go check after I'm finished here. You could do that with these. You could do that to a lesser extent with these. So um, it's still, these are still good headphones. So we're going to sum it up right now and say these are extremely premium. Uh, I would not be afraid of anything from this brand, from Sivga. These are great, great headphones. I love these. I like these. And that's where we're going to leave it on this. And hopefully I'll get to try out their planar magnetic headphones because that's a totally different ball game and I like to talk to you all about that. I haven't talked about headphones in a while, but um, it's something that I use every day and I bet you use them every day. And I think it's important to have something that sounds awesome. I hold those up and point at them, but these sound good too, depending on what you're doing and what you need. So there you have it, Civica headphones. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget, we do have some sales going on right now. Let's check them out real quick. $19.99 for this keyboard. That's that's it. Best deal ever on the history of the earth. Yep. Water resistant. These are membrane keys, but I went to, uh, well, these are from Korea. And I went over and I met the people in Hong Kong, which is a weird thing, but that's the long story. Anyway, I tried them out. Uh, tried out a gazillion different membrane uh, keys, and these are the poppiest. I love the way these feel. But the main thing is, is they're more silent than any mechanical. So if you want silent and you want water resistant, and you want simple, then $19.99, you can't get a better keyboard. You won't do it. All right, you're not gonna get a better keyboard. So get on it, why don't you? EpicPants.com, I'll see you all in the comments. Goodbye.